Hi everybody, it's Sharon. Today's lesson is the Burgers of Calais. I'm here at Stanford University. You may know it as a very prestigious academic institution, but they also have a rather large collection of sculptures by Auguste Rodin. Rodin was born in 1840 and lived to 1917. And during that time, he could be said to have become the father of modern sculpture. He produced prodigious amounts of work. Let's take a closer look. The sculpture is located in Stanford's Memorial Court. Six figures arranged at ground level, easily accessible to the public. To better understand the sculpture, it helps to know the story of Calais and the context in which Rodin created it. The town of Calais is located on the coast of France, not far from England. 1346, Edward III of England laid siege to Calais and brought it to its knees. Then Edward III offered Calais a deal. If you give up six of your most prominent citizens, I will spare the city. The first one to step forward was Eustache St. Pierre. He was followed by five others. They were to wear sackcloth, put a noose around their neck, and bring the keys of the city to Edward III. In 1884, Calais wanted to honor these men with a sculpture at the town hall. They commissioned Rodin to do it. Early studies produced by Rodin differ substantially from the final product, and that may be why Calais wasn't happy with the final product. You see, Calais expected heroism in their sculpture on a pedestal. Instead, they got a group of individuals experiencing their humanity and frailty. Here we see Eustache de Saint-Pierre, first to step forward. He's emaciated and stooped, no better than the rest of the group. Jean Dare, the man with the key, looks resolute and determined. And Andrew D'André knows he's going to his death. Rodin was influenced by Michelangelo, and you can see that in the musculature. Notice the overly large hands and feet which seem to root each statue to the ground. Notice the textures and the draping and the fact that one hand is the same gesture as the other. Stanford has arranged the burgers individually on a platform of stones said to mimic the stones of Calais without a pedestal as Rodin preferred it. Rodin's original casting of the burgers has stood in front of the town hall since 1925. 11 other castings exist around the world. Oh, and by the way, this story has a happy ending. In the end, the queen, Philippa, interceded with Edward to spare the lives of the six burghers, and they were allowed to return to Calais. It's been a real treat to show you this piece of art. Catch you later. Bye.